this time on Mess Monsters, Drip Drop Painting. Hi everybody, it's Lori from the Art Studio at Madison Children's Museum. Today's Mess Monster project is going to be a dripping paint painting that we're going to be making using a magic vacuum tube that I'm going to show you how to do. For today's project, it's very important to use an easel that is going to hold your paper at an angle. If you don't have an easel at home to paint on, I'm going to show you how you can make one pretty easily out of recycled materials. To, let me show you how to make our recycled material easel. So what you're going to need is a cardboard box, some packing tape, or masking tape and two of these office bulldog clips. So what I did to make my easel is I cut my box up so that I had these two large rectangular pieces and I, I doubled it so that I have two pieces of cardboard here that I taped together. And for the bottom, I used the flaps of the box and I doubled them up and I taped them together. So then I arranged my pieces of cardboard and taped them all together and up at the top I clipped on these bulldog clips. And you can see that the front of my easel I covered the surface completely with packing tape and the reason I did that is so that when you paint on this easel the paint won't make the cardboard wet. The packing tape will protect it and it'll last longer. So let's get started for our project and I'll tell you what you need. So today I'm going to use a piece of watercolor paper, but if you don't have watercolor paper, you can also use any kind of thicker paper like an old file folder or even construction paper. Here's a trick for keeping your easel a little steadier on the table. So I have a large can of tomatoes from the pantry. You can use any type of canned good. And I'm going to use it to put in the middle of my easel so that it will weight it down and it won't move around so much. Let me show you that. Oh, and there's one more thing. I'm going to make a little bit of a mess with this project. So I have my handy box lid. I'm going to put my easel with the can into the box lid so that way my drippy paint will go into the box lid and not all over the table. Okay, so let's gather our other materials that we need for our drip painting. So what I have here is I've prepared three different colors of watery tempera paint. This is a water-based washable craft paint that you can get at craft stores, art supply stores. You could also try using watercolor liquid watercolor or even food coloring. You can experiment and try different materials. So I put a squirt of paint in each cup and then I filled it about a quarter full with water. The other materials that we're going to need, we're going to need a piece of drinking straw. And I cut my drinking straw down about three quarters long so that it's not so hard to use. Um, it's a little bit easier to use with your hand. Let me show you how we can turn our straw into a magic vacuum painting tube. What you're going to need to do is practice holding your straw. So I'm going to use my thumb and my middle finger to hold my straw up near the top and then my pointer finger is going to be on the top and I'm going to be able to take my pointer finger on and off the top of the straw. Now why am I doing that? Let's see. So I'm going to put my straw without my finger on the top, just with the two middle fingers into my watery paint. And now once it's all the way in there, I'm going to put my middle finger, my pointer finger on the top and then watch what happens when I lift it up. Look, it captured some paint in there. So now to squirt my paint out of the tube, all I have to do is lift my pointer finger off the top. Let's try that again. I'm going to put it down into the paint, put my pointer finger on the top of the straw really tight, and I'm going to lift it out. And now to get the paint back out, I'm going to take my finger off. So younger kids might need to practice this quite a lot. It's a little bit tricky, but once you master it, it's a really, really fun technique to know how to do. 
So let's try dripping some of our watery paint onto our easel with our watercolor paint. I'm gonna put my straw down, pick up some paint, and I'm gonna take it all the way up to the top and make some drips. This is a really fun sensory project for younger children. Just the effect of the paint dripping down the page. It's really active and fun. I'm gonna pick up another color here. I'm gonna use my purple, bring it over to the page, let my finger off the top, and look, I made one giant drip. So you can do this over and over again until you have as many stripey drips on your page as you want to. And you can mix up different colors. Uh, you can have kids be able to mix some of the paint colors if you have a few extra cups and extra water. Kind of looks like a rainstorm of paint. Oh, and look, my colors are mixing together there. I had my red and my purple mixed together into, oops, to a lighter purple. And all of my messy paint is going down onto my box lid tray and not onto my table. See, look at our colors mixing there. Our purple is going down that stream of red and it's mixing, I'll add a little bit more. So if you enjoy this project, you can make drip drop paintings with different colors, try different types of paper. And when you're done, I hope that you'll enjoy using this recycled material easel to do other types of drawing and painting projects. All right, it was fun to do art with everybody again today. Um, I'll see you next time for another Mess Monsters. Thank you.